your yield will never be higher than the day you put the seed in the ground. So if you put the seed in the ground incorrectly, well, you have dramatically lowered your yield. Today, we wanna to talk about just some general planter issues that we see and how to monitor these throughout the season. You know, a couple of the biggest takeaways uh, from our Ag PhD field day, the last few years have really been around the planter. And, and one thing that's caught attention from, from farmers all over has been the flag testing. I know Randy Dowdy has been talking about this a lot. Uh, we've certainly heard others in the industry talking about flag tests for quite a while. When we're looking at emergence out in fields, we're seeing differences. We aren't seeing the seed all pop up at exactly the same time. This really was evident in 2019 when we saw cold conditions, wet conditions, and just poor planter performance. We saw some seeds popping up several days after others. And when that happens, you're gonna see a difference out in the field all the way through the season with the size of the plant, where the ear is at on the plant, and ultimately the size and yield of that ear. Darren, you mentioned flag test, explain that. Well, when we look at flag tests, what, what we would ask that you give a try to on your farm is get some different color flags and then watch your cornfield at emergence and see, well, when are those seeds popping up? As soon as you see those first seeds popping through the ground, well, use one color of flags. Let's just say it's red. Use red flags and watch what pops up right away first. Maybe you planted 30,000. Mark off one one thousandth of an acre. You should see 30 seeds popping up at about the same time within a few hours. Well, if you're not seeing that, you've got some issues out there. So mark with one color flag the first emergers, then come back 12 hours later, mark the next color, and then come back 12 hours later and mark your final color. Now, the big thing about this is we're using flags that'll be out there all throughout the season. So you wanna make sure they're not 10 foot tall flags. I mean, you can just use little flags that aren't gonna get in the way for any of your field operations. Then you can kind of watch those plants throughout the season. As I mentioned before, Randy Dowdy had been talking about this at our field day for a few years. Uh, so we did this in a number of our fields this year. And the big deal is at harvest time, there's less yield out there with those other color flags for the late emergers. So the whole point is you want the plants to emerge all at the same time. You don't even have to do a flag test if you don't want to. You can simply go out there at the end of the season and if you find that, hey, most of my ears are all at the same height, but there are a few that are much lower, well, chances are those are the plants that came in later. And what we would encourage you to do is, again, take one one thousandth of an acre and just weigh out all the ears and do that for every row of your planter. So let's say you get a 24 row planter. I realize it's gonna take a little time, but do that for each one of the 24 rows. We did that on our farm and what we found is we just, the planter was good. We just simply weren't adjusting the planter properly and adjusting it as we went throughout the season and certainly we had some tough, tough weather conditions and everything else went wrong this year, but we as farmers have the ability to make changes with our planter as we go from field to field, condition to condition. We have to do that because what we were finding is as much as 80 to maybe even 100 bushels per acre difference from row to row. And again, it all starts with are all those plants coming up at the same time? But we're looking at a number of different things here. It could be simply when it's emerging, how it's emerging, if one row was planting too deep, one row was planting too shallow. There are a lot of things you can look at on the planter in terms of performance. Well, it's really changed the way that we farm, Brian, because now when we run a planter, we're gonna have designated people to be behind that planter checking things on Well, let's each be row. very specific. So our farm manager has been with us for 25 years. He's been the guy running the planter. And I already told him for next year, Mike, you're not gonna run the planter. You're gonna simply be behind the planter or planters, because we'll probably run two next year. You're gonna be behind both planters all day long, every single day, and we're gonna be making adjustments as we go. Because if you start thinking about a variance of 80 bushels or 100 bushels, or even 40 bushels difference from row to row, Boy, if we can fix that, how many dollars is that? It's enormous. We can have a very high priced person doing nothing but making sure that planter is set just right and it will by far pay off in the long run. The other thing is keeping an eye on those parts that need to be replaced fairly often. If you're farming 50 acres and you've got a 24 row planter, well, you're probably not gonna have to replace parts very often. 
But let's face it, many of the farms today are getting bigger and there's so many acres that we're putting on these replaceable parts, we need to be replacing them sooner. In some cases, we may need to be replacing some things during the growing season, not waiting till the end of the year and seeing what stuff looks like. So we do want to keep an eye on that as we're going. I get it. Planting season is super busy. You're just crazy busy. You can't possibly imagine another job. But when it's a job that pays you this much money, you have to take a look at it. We're going to continue talking about planters and, and just different things you should be doing with your planter over the course of the winter and into the spring. But the reason why we wanted to bring this up today is so at least you get started thinking about this, that you know what? If you can do a better job with each individual row of that planter and get as many of the seeds out of the ground at the same time as possible, you absolutely will have more yield. Well, one other thing that always helps you get more yield is stopping our Weed of the Week. We'll show you what will get it under control coming up next.